Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a replica of the Starman helmet from SpaceX. This is fully 3D printed and lit up with NeoPixel LEDs. The helmet has a pivoting joint so you can flip up the visor. It also has an accelerometer so we can trigger LED animations. In this video, we'll show you how to build the helmet and wire up the electronics. The Circuit Playground Express has a bunch of sensors and components built in for making interactive projects with lights and sounds. Check out Microsoft's Make Code for programming the Circuit Playground Express. It's got an easy to use block based interface. It uses Web USB for uploading code, so it's all in the browser. You can use input blocks to trigger LED animations based on the tilt of the PCB. This makes programming motion based events really easy. Get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The helmet is split into several pieces. These require a bit of support material. The visor can be vacuum formed using a 3D printed buck. We decided to 3D print the whole visor with a lattice pattern so we could see through it. The two main parts can be fastened together using screws and heat set inserts. Be sure to check out the learn guide for this project. There you can get the links to the code and files. We decided to attach the parts together using a combination of CA glue and hot glue. We used the freeze dry method using a can of air duster to instantly cool the hot glue in place. The head and chin pieces are press fitted together and hot glued. The separate inner lining is printed in a darker colored filament and it fits along the inner edge of the helmet. We'll cut a mini skinny NeoPixel strip in half and wire up a cable in between the two. This will allow us to attach the strips in different orientations inside the helmet. Next we'll create a DIY micro USB connector with a really short cable so we can reprogram the board and recharge the battery. Then we'll solder the connections from the LED strip to the pads on the circuit playground. We'll secure the board inside the helmet using some more hot glue. Then we can lay down the two LED strips. We'll also hot glue these in place. To protect this LiPo battery, we 3D printed a pocket in NinjaFlex material so it's nicely padded. We can secure this right next to the circuit playground. The 3D printed visor is attached to the helmet with hot glue. The two main pieces connect together by press fitting the joints and locking them in place. We installed some pieces of foam along the inside of the helmet for a bit of comfort. And there you have it! We think this is a great project for folks with 3D printers looking to get started with electronics. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.